Hello everybody and welcome to another 5 minute tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the uh, Eclipse Key Tool plugin. Uh, this was brought to my attention by um, Fred and the BuzzTouch.com forums quite some time ago. Uh, and then recently again by Daiko Kutin on the forums. Uh, so I decided to actually finally go out and check it out and I'm very impressed by this plugin and find it to be extremely helpful in generating the uh, key stores that we need for signing our applications as well as getting the MD5 fingerprints that we need for getting the Google Maps API. So let's go ahead and uh, show how we can do that with this awesome Eclipse plugin. First thing you want to do is install it. So if you go uh, to help install new software and you can um, do a work with and type in the site and I have it in here already. Uh, the key tool site is HTTP keytool.sourceforge.net slash update and once you add that and we'll go out and find it and it shows here that the key tool plugin is available let's go ahead and hit next and it will calculate requirements and dependencies do the downloading and all that kind of stuff so it does take a few seconds because Eclipse is a bit slow so here's the install details here's what's going to be installed hit next accept the licensing agreement hit finish um, now it's going to go ahead and do its thing. We can kind of monitor here by looking at the details. But it's installing it, downloading it, doing its thing. In a second we will have this, do you trust the certificate? And I have no reason not to, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And it does the install. And now we need to restart the SDK. So we'll go ahead and restart it, and you can take a little look there at Sedona, Arizona uh, last fall. All right, Eclipse is starting up again, and when it starts up, you will notice that now on your menu bar here at the top, you have a key tool option uh, with a bunch of things that you can do, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and uh, create a new certificate, and it brings up a dialog box, and uh, we're going to create a new key store. Give an alias. This is just a way to recognize the key, key store certificate. Um, we're going to call this one Bucky... Oops, Bucky release. I'm going to use a generic password. Um, first and last name, this is required, or at least a first name. I'll call it Bucky Buzz Touch. Uh, name organizationally is not required, but it could be something like IT department. And uh, organization is not required, but it could be Bucky's computers. Uh, the city, I believe, is not required either. Uh, but it could be like uh, Bucky Town in Oregon for the state of province. Two-letter country code in my case is U.S. Uh, this is valid from 2012-2017. That's about five years. Um, <clears throat> that might be good for a debug key, but Google uh, suggests that you have a 25-year key at the very minimum for release keys. So we'll go ahead and add uh, 30 years or 20 years onto this, and that should give us 25 years. Next, now you want to give it a file name. Um, I actually already know where this is going to get saved to. It gets saved to my root folder, but I'm going to go ahead and call it um, Bucky Release Key Store. Key Store. Uh, you have to provide it the password that you provided earlier, and then just go ahead and hit Finish. And now it's going to go ahead and create the certificate and all that kind of stuff. And once it's done that. It will bring up a pane here called Bucky Release. It gives you the certificate information. If you uh, expand that a little bit, you notice that you have your MD5 fingerprint right here, which is exactly what we're going to use in a minute for getting our Google Maps API key. And you also knew, notice that there's a new key tool pane right here. Uh, if you expand it, Bucky Release, and that's what we're talking about. So you can actually uh, use this tool to import a certificate if you know uh, where your certificate is and you have the password and it will um, you know give you all this information as well so now that you have your release key created here and again this could be a debug key if you want but this one's a release key um, and you have your MD5 fingerprint you want to go ahead and copy that and then we're going to switch over to Chrome and if you go over to https developers.google.com slash android slash maps dash api dash signup, 
This is a place that you can go sign up for your Google Maps API key, which is what you need in your Android applications. Um, if you notice this and you've seen some of my other tutorials, this looks a little bit familiar. It gives you the certificate fingerprint via the command line, but with this new tool, you can just you know get the tool to generate it, and it's much easier. So here's where you go to, um, you know, read the terms of service, select that you agree it, paste in your MD5 fingerprint, and then hit the generate API key. Um, and unfortunately, this is going to throw up the error that you need a Google account. Um, you have to be able to sign in for your Google account. So if you already have one, you can go ahead and sign in. If you don't, you're going to want to create one because you're going to need it. Um, and then after this screen is completed, it will give you your um, Google Maps API key, which you can then go paste back into your BuzzTouch application. So this is an extremely useful tool. Um, I personally generate a lot of uh, release keys for people who don't want to do it themselves. So this is going to be really um, instrumental and helpful for me. And I think it's a good way for people to manage their own keys as well and to get the information like the MD5 fingerprints. So thanks again to Fred and Daiko Kukton for bringing this to our attention. And I hope this video tutorial has been useful for you. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, drop a line on them in the buzztouch.com forums, and we'll get them answered. Thank you very much, and happy coding.